What's up guys, Indie Mouse here and welcome back to the 10 dumb things you missed, this time featuring Overwatch. So this is our first time doing a multiplayer only game, so this is a, a whole new experience for me and it's a multiplayer game that a lot of people have already experienced very deeply, so this is going to either turn out really well or really badly. <laughs> so I basically delved into every single multiplayer map by myself and see what I could find. I know there's a lot of audio based easter egg that characters say and stuff like that. If you want a real easter egg video, I'll leave one down in the description. This isn't an easter egg video, this is a 10 dumb things you missed. and actually I found so many things this is probably going to be like a 30 dumb things that you missed some of them are going to be really obvious some of them not so much hope you enjoy and if you already saw all these things be sure to leave me a comment saying hey new mouse I already knew all these things it'll uh it'll really impress everybody Hey Blizzard, I know how much you uh, love putting your own easter eggs of your own franchises in your game, so I thought I'd point this obvious one out first. Here's Goldshire Studios, a nice reference to Goldshire from World of Warcraft, the, the early alliance town. As well as the alliance symbol up on this thing, I mean, as far as subtle goes, this is right up there. Good, you really got, got me on this one Blizzard, thanks. Thanks for this, I'm sure no one has seen this one before. So on the map Eichenwald, there's a dead bastion on the ground here. That's not the dumb thing you missed, don't worry. Hey, maybe you did miss it if, if you've never looked down in your life. But instead, there's all these birds flying around the castle, and could they be Bastion's bird? I know, I forgot the name. I know it has a name. I don't really care that much, though. So when old Bastion dies, his feathered little friend flies around his corpse area forever. So think about that before you kill the that Bastion who's got 59 kills and zero deaths because he's this fucking OP. <laughs> Here's something I noticed, not a single candle in this castle has a wick in them. How are you going to light up these candles without any wicks in them, Blizzard? <laughs> I know even I've already covered this one and it's one of the most obvious easter eggs in the game but there's a bonfire, I have to cover it, it's about Dark Souls, it's uh, it's in Eichenwald as well, there's a nice little bonfire and it's from a game that has almost 99% easter eggs from their own franchises, it's nice to see a nice little Dark Souls nod in here. So I noticed Reinhardt has carved his name into the table here, which seems incredibly rude. But more importantly, on one of the windows outside, it's very subtle. I, I'm gonna have to zoom in here, I can't even see it in my editing software. You can see the date 030217, which is, for me, it would be this 3rd of uh, February, which doesn't make any sense. But for Americans, that's the 2nd of March, which is when Orissa was announced. Coincidence? I'll let you guys decide on that one. I'm not sure anyone has taken the time out of their day to really look closely at this little golden girl's face. It is pretty fucked up. This is some creepy shit right here. I know it's supposed to be a feel good statue, but oh my god, this does not make me feel good at all. Now I can't tell if this one's intentional by Blizzard or not, but if you look at the shadow of these little cups, you can tell they have like a little derpy face on them, and there's no holes or slits in the cup, it's just a solid cup sitting there, and for some reason the shadow it's given off has a little face in it. If this it was intentional and no one's noticed this yet, brilliant. This is the kind of stuff that this series lives on. It's really dumb shit like this that <laughs> for some reason makes me laugh. But yeah, really big fan of this. If you uh, ever see a cup in Overwatch, ch check the shadow of it. Let me know if it has a little derpy face on it. Here's a little sad dead robot outside of the walls of Temple of Anubis. What happened to this poor little guy? It's kind of giving me the near Automata vibes, which is coming out very soon on PC, and I'm excited about that. But here, yeah, there's it's a dead robot. I'm sure it really fits into the lore. I know there's a big robot battle or something. But there you go. Pay some respect next time you see him. So I've got to throw a really obvious one in here, just for the hell of it. Here's a Deckard Kane signature on the check in the Route 66 diner. I know this one is seen by everyone, but if there's one person out there who hasn't seen it, and he's watching this video, he's loving life right now. Now, I don't know if you guys know, but Blizzard made Diablo. Uh, so they love throwing their own little Diablo Easter eggs in here. So here's his horns hanging on the wall here alongside like a deer and a moose. And there's also a Diablo pinata hanging out here. So there you go, but you've never seen those before. Any of you Hearthstone players out there remember when Dr. Boom was the meta? Those were good times, man, but apparently now he's just a soda inside of the Route 66 diner, as well as a Zerg soda, Zerg symbol soda. God knows what that tastes like. Again, more Blizzard Easter eggs. All right, so we've been talking about a lot of Blizzard references. We're going to move away from that now and move on to why this series exists. Let's start looking at really dumb shit. Here's some, uh, the fish in the bottom of, I think it's Li Zhang Tower. The fish don't have any eyes. And there's also this giant ass ghost fish down here as well. I don't know if you're supposed to be down here. I don't think you are unless you're going to die. Yeah, these fish either don't exist or are holograms. Ooh, they could be holograms. What a theory. <laughs> 
Here's something that no one notices, and that's the problem. No, this parked ship right here, some inconsiderate cunt parked it with their engine still on, flaming away at this poor person's house right at their window. Imagine if you send grandma to go open the window, and then she fucking has her face sizzled off by the jet engines of the Overwatch crew. And this is exactly why Overwatch shut down, because of shit like this. This is a health and safety hazard. Blizzard, this offends me. Please change the jet engine to be faced in a different direction. No one Blizzard, they'll probably actually do it. There seems to be a strange amount of handprints around the everywhere on different tables and chairs and stuff. I only found two, but I'm I'm certain there's more now. Why is there just these weird, just a handprint like on this dusty table looks like it's being dragged away. And then there's one on this. I don't know what the hell he's, that liquid is that he had on his hands, but this is, I bet you never noticed these. And if you did, you didn't pay as much attention as I did to him. So I think uh, Hearthstone might actually be a game that exists in Overwatch. It might just be me, but uh, there's a Hearthstone cards on the table here that aren't actually Hearthstone cards, they're normal playing cards. In the original cinematic, there's this fat security guy playing Hearthstone. You could chuckle out of that one. There's Hearthstone on the computer as well as many other tablets. You want us to play Hearthstone. Here's a nice Warcraft reference on the cameras that says Kill Rog, which is a nice little nod to Kill Rog Deadeye, which is, you know, Deadeye because it's a camera. Pretty good Blizzard, which is an orc in the Warcraft universe. And I've been making fun of Blizzard a little bit by having references to their own franchises a lot, but this one's a good one. I like Kill Rog Deadeye. It's a, a little more subtle. I know it's just a big fat name on the side of a camera, but it's, it is a little more subtle. I, I appreciate that. Now I may be going insane at this point, but this heart on the top of this tent kind of reminds me of the Kingdom Hearts heart. I don't know if it's supposed to be a reference or that heart is a very popular or well-known thing, but as soon as I saw it, I thought, that is Kingdom Hearts. And I haven't even played Kingdom Hearts before, I just know that heart. Maybe it's such, it would be such a random reference, but hell, let's, let's, I'll take anything in this video series, you know that. So I actually want to take a little time out here on this video and point out this very lonely, sad tree off in the distance here on Temple of Anubis that I'm sure no one has ever paid attention to. This poor little fucker out, in the, out by himself with no other trees. He's not even near the map. I don't know if you can even see this properly without flying. So, you know, res let's have some respect. Let's have a little moment of silence with this stupid tree out all on him. He's <laughs> lonesome. He looks so sad and it's just a tree. My God. I'm quite the sucker for the Lost Vikings. I played it back in the day on the Super Nintendo and I was always a fan of it. I, it beat my ass in it. It was a hard ass game, but it's always nice seeing uh, Blizzard reference some of their earlier titles. See, we got Balrog the Fierce, Olaf the Stout, and Eric the Swift, all the main characters from the Lost Vikings on the on the Walk of Fame here. So that's a nice, that's a nice touch, Blizzard. Now I'm gonna let you guys decide on this one. Maybe it's a, a nod to TV series where, or movies where they bring out a coffee and you can, very, it's very obvious that there's no coffee in that cup. They're just drinking out of an empty cup. And very similar to that, we have these cups here with steam coming out of them. But if you actually look inside them, there's no drink or coffee or tea in sight. It's just an empty cup with steam coming out of it. Is it a reference or is it laziness on Blizzard's part? Just not to put like a brown plane in there. So it looks like there's a liquid in there. Did you just take a sip from an empty cup? Yes. Why did you do that? Just something to do. Hey, check it out, guys. They made a potato chip flavor based on the Overwatch community. Now you listen to me, mister. I work for a living. And I mean real work, not writing down gobbledygook. I provide the people of this community with propane and propane accessories. <laughs> Hey, check it out, it says Samwise on this TV, which is a reference to both Samsung and the Blizzard art director, Samwise. I like it when artists put their own name in the game, or maybe their own photos and stuff. I don't know. It's just nice to see artists get more credit in video games. So if you've seen the other two episodes I've done of this series thus far, you know that I liked looking really close into the reflections and textures and stuff. And boy was I surprised when I looked into this projector and light combo to see there was someone standing in the cinema behind me. And like always, I'll zoom in in my, my editing software for you guys, but me staring at it right now in real life as I was recording this, I was like really leaned in close to my monitor to see what it was. It looks like nothing and it's like I always say, it could be nothing, but it looks like there's like someone standing behind me. So when I quickly turned around to see if there's like another player that joined my custom game, nope, there wasn't. The cinema was still empty and I left the video game. <laughs>
Anyone notice that in the telephone booth in King's Row, there's not actually a telephone, but instead just a clipboard with paper on it? Why didn't Blizzard just model a telephone and put it in there? Is this normal? Do people... I've never seen a telephone booth in real life. I've only seen them in the movies, so maybe I've got a, like a, a different idea of what telephone booths are supposed to look like, but I don't know. You guys will have to let me know. You guys in England are going to have to let me know if you still got telephone booths. Fucking Jesus. So here's something Blizzard thought I wouldn't notice. Here's a tree growing out of a roof, just straight out of the roof. And there's nothing, no dirt or anything on the roof. It's just, just a tree. You just, if, come on Blizzard, people can see this. It's embarrassing. I really like how these meals in Hollywood are just four slices of watermelon, three olives and a leaf. It really makes my day. I've never had that before. Maybe it's a great nutritious meal, but what kind of meal is that? Check out this sweet ass Zerg skull up on the wall here, as like a trophy or something. I know no one really missed this, I'm sure everyone saw it. But this is a StarCraft reference, if you didn't know, I've, I've, everyone knew, what am I talking about? It looks like this video was so bad, unfortunately, Winston has had enough and he's gone and hung himself. <laughs> What a great way to end the video, Indie Mouse, for the fucking gorilla hanging himself joke. Man.